everyone. I'm Danielle Martel, President of Franklin County Business and Professional Women, and I would like to welcome you to our TV show, Working Women Helping Women. And with me this evening is Jessica Porter, one of our members of Franklin County BPW. So welcome. Thank you. Hi. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. I just recently last week turned 31. Congratulations. I, thank you. I grew up in Franklin County. I grew up actually in Highgate and went to Highgate Elementary, um, graduated from MVU in 2001, and I actually still live in Franklin County right up in Sheldon. Um, in 2009, I started going to massage school right here in St. Albans at Body Soul, and I graduated at the end of 2009, and I actually still currently work there. Um, I just got promoted in 2013 to the Corporate Client Relationship Manager, and I also started co-teaching with Hope Bacchus as well. So, Busy lady. Yes, it's been very busy. 2013 was good to me. <laughs> good. good. Yes. And how long have you been a member of Franklin County BPW? I actually just became a member in 2013 as well, so it's been a little under a year. Would you like to talk about the BNI group that you're a part of as well? Yes, I am a part of a local... Um, BNI group right here in St. Albans. It's the Prestige BNI chapter. Um, we have currently about 38 members. We meet weekly. Um, it's a networking group and uh, it's very time consuming, but um, it basically gives back what you put into it, just like anything else. So it's enjoyable. Good, very good. So where, where do you hope to be in the next five years? Professionally, I personally, and politically, anything All like different that. ways, huh? Yes. Um, professionally, I'd like to be partner at Body Soul. Um, that's been my long-term goal for a little while now, and that's what I've been working towards. So my goal is to get to there. Um, I really want to keep educating the community on massage and what the benefits are of it. Um, there is so many different ways that we can help people from pain management to autoimmune disorders. Um, there's just many different benefits of it, and a lot of people aren't aware of it. So that's one of my big goals. Um, I'm hoping to maybe have a second child in the next five years as well, and hopefully maybe purchase my first home. But big so. goals. Yeah, big <laughs> goals in a little time, it seems like, but um, I think that they'll all get met. 2013 was the beginning of all the busy years, right? Exactly. <laughs> that was the start to a lot. So um, I'm excited to see what the next five years brings. Good. And how do you think BPW could help you to achieve any of those goals? Um... How could it not? Um, just by being active. I love answers and, like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. How can you not? Just doing the bare minimum, showing up to meetings once a month, you're getting your face and your name out there. Um, it's, it's a simple way. And I really feel um, that actually the question should be what you can do for BPW. BPW is really more about what giving back to the community and what you can do um, with your success and helping other people become successful. So. Um, I'm really more about what I can give to BBW than what they can give to me. But it really, it, you, how can it not help you just being there? And the more active you are, there's tons of events. So the more active you are in it, it's even more you're going to get yourself out there. So um. Our big event this weekend is the Calcutta. Yes, it is, it actually. It is a major fundraiser Saturday night. So that'll be Fun. exciting. Yeah, it will we're be. totally sold out. All tickets are sold. That is yeah, very exciting. a ton of sponsors. I just finished putting together the... Uh, slideshow presentation and it was great the turnout that we got so it's very awesome. good yeah BPW is a lot for our community so yep. one of many yep we have a lot of programs and scholarships and everything that's what most people know us for is our scholarships and educational programs like the young careerist competition which I'm glad to know you're gonna do that's yes, great I am I'm really excited about it very nervous but I'm um, excited I feel like it's gonna give me a lot of growth um, personally and in my career so definitely definitely Definitely. Definitely help you to achieve your goals. Yes, it will. That's it. One of those little things get off the checklist. <laughs> right. So what benefits do you find of being a member of Franklin County BPW? Um, I, I say the biggest benefit is honestly the relationships. Um, these people are genuinely very caring and loving, and that's really hard to find in the community. So if you have a group of people that meets once a month and you have all these people in a room, you know, why wouldn't you take up that opportunity? Um, and like I said, it's really the relationships is probably the biggest part of it. I really enjoy getting to know all the members um, and their loving and caring attitudes. So it's a very positive atmosphere. Yep. And um, usually once you join, we always put people on committees, which is really nice because then they kind of get to know that, uh, like a smaller group of the ladies even better. Yeah. Uh, ladies and men, I should say. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, but it's kind of nice because then you get to know a smaller group of people better 
And then when you go to meetings, you know even more people and you know them better and you grow those relationships and the more the mentoring happens, and that's basically the whole point of it is to empower women. Um, they're women and men that have been there, done that, and can help you and give you pointers and advice and public speaking advice. <laughs> exactly, and that's really, like you said, the big point of it is you know taking your success and helping somebody else. You wouldn't be successful in where you are if somebody at that point in time didn't guide you. So, you know, it's really you know, about giving back to the other people and guiding them and helping them be successful as well. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Sounds like you do a lot of that already between massage, BBW, and the BNI group. I definitely try to. You know, it's hard, kind of hard to juggle everything, it seems like, sometimes. Um, and even at moments, you have, like, this minute where you sit down and you're like, is this really worth it all? Am I going to be able to handle all this, you know, all the craziness? Um, but after you sit down just for five minutes and think about it, you know it's completely worth it. Um, it's completely worth it for you, your career, your family, the community. Um, you know, it's, it's worth juggling all the, all the balls at once. Right. <laughs> and do you think of anything that BPW could do more in the community? Anything they could do? Um, I don't really know about maybe more, um, maybe better ways of being heard. Um, a lot of people I don't think in our community even know about us or what it is that we exactly do. So uh, maybe just getting more education out there, I guess would be the way of saying it, um, and letting them know that we are here. You know, we do do a lot and, you know, get a little, not recognition for it, but just to let them know. Right. We've been here uh, next year, actually be 50 years that we've been in Franklin County. We've been in around the country since 1919, so been a very long time. And yeah, a lot of people, like you said, don't know that we're here. They were very active for a long time, and then uh, the membership kind of shrunk a little bit. Um, a lot of people retired. A lot of people moved away, and now we're gradually growing back our numbers. We've added 26, I think, new members this year. So we've wow. uh, grown quite <laughs> large in the last year, which is nice. And um, I think that it's working a lot better mentoring wise because we're now having different age groups of people and different genders and also uh, people in different levels of their career. So it's kind of nice that, you know, we have people that have been there and done that. And we have people that are brand new that um, are still students or people that are wanting to start their own business like I am at some point and people like you that are already in your business that want to grow to then become partners, so that's yeah. definitely a good thing. It is, there's so many resources there, you know, for everybody to use, so. You said it's good for all sorts of people, somebody who already has a business looking to get into it, mm -hmm. or somebody who's even retired and just kind of wants to give their time to people or the community. Right, a lot of times they have the best advice and you know, they've been yeah. there and done that. Exactly. And, uh, a lot of times they have a lot more time to go to other community events and to see things that are working really well for other parts of the community, different organizations but they also have time to get back to BPW so they can come back and say, well, you know, this worked really well, or I think we're missing a hole right here. Maybe we should get more into this and do this instead or do this a little bit differently. And that feedback's nice too. It so. is, they have all that experience behind yeah. them and it definitely brings a lot to the table for sure. Yes, definitely. So what do you think the most common misconception of Franklin County BPW is? That it's only for women. Yeah. Um, that was actually one of the things that I thought. I was very shocked to find out that we have an active male in our group. When I signed up, I was like, no way. I thought it was strictly for women. So um, that's probably one of the biggest things I would say, that it's for everybody, um, no matter if you're male or female. Just you know, it's, Or a lot of people think that it's for only somebody who has a business, mm -hmm. and it's not. It's about you know growing yourself in your career, no matter what it may be. You might work for somebody else, or you might work for yourself. But um, those are probably the two big ones. Yep, definitely. We've always had a lot of male support in the community. A lot of the business owners, you know, are males in Franklin County especially, but they, um, they've always been very supportive of us uh, and helped us out with events and done things, but we've, we have had active males in the past, but not for a while. So it was kind of nice that Nate won the uh, membership at a chamber mixer. And I don't know if he was entirely thrilled with it at first, but I think it turned out to be more than what he even thought it was going to be. So I agree, I think we good. shocked him. Yeah. Which yeah. is good. I think so. he enjoyed it. You know, he came because it was a free membership and, you know, he, to check it out. But I think he'll stay on his own terms. Yeah, I say I think he really liked it. And he's had a lot of fun with the Calcutta and working with Jackie. So that's a good thing. It is. And it brings so. a whole different energy in having, you know, a male there. Um, at first I was a little like, ooh, how's this going to work? Because I'd come to a couple of meetings, but as a guest. Yep. And at that time he wasn't there. And so I thought it was going to take away from like the girl vibe and stuff, but it doesn't at all. You know, it really just adds a new vibe to it. It doesn't take anything away from it at all. Right. 
And I definitely think that the other misconception that kind of goes along with that you have to be a business owner is also an age thing. A lot of people that are younger are like, well, what do I have to, you know, put into the organization, let alone, you know, what they would get out of it mentoring wise, but they don't know what they can put in and they don't realize that their ideas and their energy level and just their enthusiasm about it is a good thing. You know, it helps to bring new breath into the organization, you know, so I think it's a good thing. I agree completely. Definitely. Yes. So other than educational, getting more education out into the community about BPW, how do you think we could help change those misconceptions? Oh, good question. Um, what would be some good ways? Um, I don't know, maybe even just reaching out to the schools. Like you said, a lot of times, um, you know, the youth is nice. This is our future and we would love to be able to pull them in and either help them or just hear fresh ideas and things. So maybe reaching out to the schools a little bit, to like the seniors or maybe the local colleges, um, anything like that. And just letting them know that, you know, we're not what you think we are. We're not a bunch of old people that are retired and all females. You, know, you can be male, you can be young. Um, you know, we're here to, to grow as a group in a community. So I definitely, I agree. I agree. Anything else you'd like to share? Um, no, actually, I don't think. I think we covered it all. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm very happy that you obviously are a member and you are going to be doing the Young Careers program in, in April. That's going to be great. I'm very excited for that. Be excited to hear you speak. Um, I'm excited, very nervous, but, you know, cheer me on from yeah. the seats. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I think you do a great job representing Franklin County. I think that would be very good. So, thank you. Very bad. So, congratulations. Thanks. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this evening and check out www.bpwfranklincounty.com for all of our meeting information and also our TV ep episodes are posted there as well. And have a good night. Thank you.